quite a prolific flush of late fall oysters. As you can see, these guys tend to be yellow to like an olive green. And like your common oysters, they don't really have much of a stem. And you have gills that run down what there is of a stem. Here's some more mature ones. These guys are a little rubbery, but they're excellent for you. Very, very good for you. And uh, great for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease medicinally. You can see this flush is all over. And some false turkey tail is mixed in here from previous years as well. Quite the flush of late fall oysters. I'm going to be preparing these in a soup because they are good in a soup. Late fall oysters, like other oyster mushrooms, have a very delicate, not heavy mushroomy flavor, so they go very nicely with a lot of dishes and you can throw them into a lot of recipes. However, they are a little rubbery and a little bitter. So to get the rubberiness and the bitterness out, you should dry saute them for at least 15 minutes before throwing them into a recipe that requires mushrooms. In this case today, what I'm doing is I am dry sauteing these, but I'm going to be doing a slow cooker soup recipe. So I'm only gonna saute them for about five minutes or you know five to eight minutes. But like I said, in, in your case, if you're gonna be putting them into recipes that aren't a slow cooker recipe, like my four hour slow cooker recipe, you're gonna to wanna to dry saute them for at least 15 minutes before incorporating them into one of your recipes. Just a warning, this is not a vegetarian soup. It has ground turkey in it. This was a recipe that my husband had found on the internet and he was intrigued and wanted to try it. And as you can see here, our late fall oysters are in here. Sauteed them for about five minutes or so. And these will be slow cooking for four hours. So I'm hoping that this will be a really good recipe to repeat in the future. Here's the finished soup. It's piping hot and pretty tasty. No bitterness here in the mushrooms, but like I said, they're slow cooked for four hours, so very enjoyable. This is Rachel Goklowski, Cooking with Mrs. G. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as Cooking with Mrs. G.